Rangi misena la kachiberu. Lerim kachizum tina cha maturu. Tiseda tigo mitsa atara in. Tiseda tisu ni denlu. Rangi lava chuse kholare gopdi kanewa kyal che. Di beule pise lewe kha. Zonam jaa chi chi. Zamlin gyakab leshe chi natar chab joi mi. Titan simi chuse kholo chuk. Du gyakab nale nandin be diya bhi. Disuji Gonse, Nildam Jibjang of Chilgozuki, don't touch singing a singing panabe yable, Rana Sose Omba Batindi, Jicho Chobe Yisashuni Jiba Jambachin, Timbutom de Bulu, Chusekulokas and the Tandi, Dumda Chitom de Dekojas of Hunjambachin, Lamgita Lukalwang Dinchim Yotolo Yisashuni. Well, I name a show, I name a show. Zongbula and welcome to Do You Know Your Child Season 4. I'm your host Cho and we are in Tirang. When it comes to children, parents these days tend to think less about their happiness and more about their success. However, they don't spend a lot of time thinking about what makes kids happy. Kids these days are simply following the script. Last week, our participants made some commitments. Let's see how well they're keeping up. My father is keeping up with his commitment by spending more time with me and he's helping me while doing my homework, which he has never done before. After her commitment in the show, uh, she keeps on trying, uh, especially like uh, watching the TV, lesser and lesser, and uh, doing uh, more and more hard work. So uh, that was uh, her commitment in the show. Kids have very little control over their lives. They are always told where to go, what to eat, and what not to do. In some ways, their happiness is controlled by parents. Let your kids choose their own outfits. Allow them to choose their meal. Give them the opportunity to make their own decisions and see how it works. Let's welcome our first participant. My name is Sonam Wangmu, and I am working as a teacher in this school. And um, my son wanted to be on the TV. He knew about this uh, Do You Know Your Child from the TV, la, from the BBS show. La. And then we also looked into the internet la, for this, on, about this show. La. Hi! Welcome to Do You Know Your Child. Please Thank you. introduce yourself. La. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm Sona Wang Mo. I'm working as a teacher here in Rang Thang Ling Primary School. And I have three children. Three children. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about your profession. You teach. Uh, and what subjects do you teach and what grades? I'm a general teacher. La, I see. And I teach um, last year. This year I have taught uh, classic students uh, social studies, okay. class four students English and mathematics, oh. and class five students science. La. Wow. To be a general teacher, I think that's a big challenge. Which ones, what, What's your favorite subject? I like uh, to teach uh, students mathematics. La. Really? I have met very few people who um, like mathematics and I've, I think I've, you're the first one who's, who's ever said I like teaching math. So, well, why do you enjoy it? You, do you teach the new maths? Yes, la, ma It's. I heard it's really challenging for teachers to cope up with the new way of teaching maths. Children enjoy uh, learning la, and I enjoy teaching mathematics. La. I find it very easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel, I think that the students learn uh, very fast like this year. I think uh, they did quite well in examinations also, like class four maths. Oh, okay, students. all right. Have you always loved math? I do, la. I see, okay, all right. But I teach only lower grade students. I Maybe see. that is why it's not so challenging for me. Okay, I think it's very important for the teacher to love the subject they're teaching. Then I think students learn, children learn too. 
uh, appreciate the subject. So now tell me about your family. You said you have three kids. Tell me their names, their ages, um, and about your husband too. Uh, my husband is working as a principal mm -hmm. in the in the same school, the Rangtanu oh, Primary School. Okay. And uh, my three children, uh, they are the eldest one is ten years old. Mm -hmm. He's studying in class six. I see. The middle one is in class four. Mm -hmm. uh, he is eight plus years old, okay. and the youngest one is. Uh, is running six years old la, and oh. she is a girl. The el the older two are boys. La. I see. Okay, which one's easier to bring up a girl or boys? <laughs> uh, from my experience, I feel that uh, bringing up a girl is much easier than the boys, okay. and maybe because uh, she is the youngest, and maybe I uh, by then I have become a more experienced mother. That's I true. found it quite easier. La. Yeah. You have come here with the eldest child here. Yes. Okay. Tell me about him. What kind of a boy is he? His personality. Um, he's a very charming boy, mm -hmm. a charming son, and uh, he he lo he loves me more than his father. I feel like that. Oh, okay. That's why you came to the show with him, not his father. All right. Let's see. He wanted me to come here la, with I him, la. Okay. Uh, and uh, because. I know that he loves uh, being with me more than his father. Ah, why do you think so? Maybe because uh, I spent more time with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, maybe he likes, uh, he's, he likes to spend more time with me. La. Have you watched Do You Know Your Child on TV? Yes, la, I did. Okay, all right. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you the rules, all right? I have with me 10 questions. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you first. Then I'll ask these 10 questions to your son later. We will tell you the answers and we'll come up with a score for you, okay? So are you ready, la? Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. La. Okay. Do you think you'll do well? I'm hoping not all to. Right. That's, that's That's good to start with. Um, here's your question number one. What is your son's favorite song? Country Road, Take Me Home. Oh, okay. That song. All and, right. And uh, he has been downloading the lyric and then singing, uh, singing the song along with his brother and sister. Oh, okay. All right. Question number two. What is his roll number in class? Five. La. Why do you know his no roll number? Because uh, I also go to his class. Mm -hmm. And uh, I... Um, I teach the students social studies there oh, in class six. Okay. All right. Do you know the role numbers of all your three children? I'm just curious. This is not the question. I know. Uh, I know uh, about the role number of my middle son because I'm his class teacher. Oh, his okay. his role number is eight. All right. The youngest one, I do not know. Okay. All right. All right. That's completely fine because you don't teach her. No. Okay. All right. Question number three, who is your son's best friend? Most of the time I see him with the Sangi Doji, okay. so maybe he, uh, he is his best friend. All right. Question number four, what is your son's favorite sport? My son likes to play football. Okay. But uh, I know that he ca do not play well, but, uh, all right. but still then he likes to play football. Okay, all right. Oh, I, I don't think... Um, for a child to enjoy a sport, he should excel in it. I think it's a pressure we put on our kids to be mm -hmm. uh, good at whatever you do, but I think your son can enjoy football or basketball, whatever, without having to do well in it. Mm -hmm. And you've watched him play before? Uh, no, no. No? Oh. Okay, all right. I don't force him to play football either la, because uh, usually when he plays in the open, uh, uh, it's dusty and then mm -hmm. it's cold here in Zhenang. So I feel that um, he gets sick. La, oh, okay. Usually. So how often does he get to play his favorite sport? Uh, after school, in the evening, he plays. But then we don't have a nice football ground there in this school. La. It's a new school. Mm -hmm. So he plays it in the courtyard uh, for around 30 minutes or so with his friends. La. OK, OK, Les. Question number five. Who does your son think is a better cook, you or your husband? Me, la. Okay, does your husband cook, by the way? He does. La. Okay, all right. <laughs> but you think your son would choose you as his favorite cook? Yes. La. Okay, all right. What do you think is his favorite dish uh, by you? He likes um, meat curry. La. Meat. Uh, 
Okay, yes. all right. Question number six, what is his favorite color? Red. Red. Question number seven, if I gave your son 500 neutron, what would he do with it? He would uh, most probably come and show it to me uh, okay. that he got 500 Nultum. And then he, he would uh, want to spend uh, some to buy uh, chocolates and other things uh, for himself. Uh -huh. And the rest I think he would save. Uh. Oh, okay. All right. Question number eight. Who is your son's favorite actor? I think he likes Jinju Doji. Uh. Oh, okay. All right. If I gave your son four choices as his pet, one, and he has to pick mm -hmm. one as his pet, which one would you go for? A dog, a cat, a fish, or a bird? A dog. Okay. Do you have a pet at home? Uh, uh, we have la, one okay. stray dog. Uh, uh, this dog had come with the other ch school children and then since we give them food, they have, uh, this dog had uh, stayed back. La. Oh, okay. And now my children think that, um, consider that dog as their pet la, wow, okay. and take care of him. Oh, okay, all right. Last question for you. Do you think your son would know the name of our Gelse? Yes. No. Yes, okay. You have answered all the 10 questions. We will now invite your son over here and I'll ask these 10 questions to him, okay? okay. We have just finished talking with the mother. Now we'll have the son with us. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. <coughs> Please introduce yourself. My name is Pali Rongchu. I study in Rongchenung Primary School. I'm sure you enjoy studying with your parents, but who is a better help when you need um, help studying at home? Both. Both? Okay, very smart. All right. And you're very lucky because both your parents are teachers, right? Yes, ma'am. So it helps, all right? Um, do you <coughs> enjoy having two teachers as your parents? Yes. Yes, all the time? Yes. yes. Or sometimes? All the time. All the time. All right. Okay. Paladin, I asked your mom 10 questions about you. I'm going to ask these 10 questions oh, to you, okay? Me. All right. But before that, I was told that you have two younger siblings. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <coughs> um, tell me about your siblings. I have one brother and one sister. Mm -hmm. My brother studies in class four. Okay. In the same school. Where I study. Okay. My sister studied in class PP. In the same school? Yes. Do you enjoy going to school with your younger siblings? Because I remember when my sister came uh, after me in school, I really didn't enjoy it. I was like, go away. But did you enjoy it? Do you enjoy it? No. No? <laughs> why? Tell me why. I'm sure everybody's wondering why. Because he, because they came near me. I know, right? You get embarrassed. It's hard, right? <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> Completely understandable, but uh, what can we do? We are the older siblings. We have to be nice to them, right? Do you try and um, are you? Do you try to be nice to them? Yes. Yes. And um, all right, Belden. I'm going to ask the ten questions to you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your first question. The first question that I asked your mother was, "What is your favorite song?" Country road. Country road. Okay. Can you sing that for us? <coughs> yeah? Yes, All right, go ahead then. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place. I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama Take me home Country Road All my memories Gather round her Minus lady Stranger to blue water Dark and dusty Painted on the sky Misty days of moonshine Teardrops in my eyes that's beautiful. Thank you so much for singing, Paladin. That was beautiful. Who taught you the song? Mm, I searched in the internet. Oh, okay. How did you come across the song? Because it's a pretty old song. Mm. How did you first hear, uh, hear the song? 
when I watch a movie. Watch. Ah, okay, which movie? Whisper of Heart. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so should we go to question number two? Yes. Okay. Question number two is your roll number. What's your roll number in class? Five. Five. Question number three, who was your best friend? Um, Sayadri. Okay. Kinangdoji. Okay. Sun Feldin. All right. And Tim Toki. Okay, okay. Wow, that's your group? Yes, um, Question number four, what is your favorite sport? Football. Football. And uh, who's your favorite football player? Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, all right. Do you watch Bhutanese football? Um, when my father watches. Okay, do you have a favorite Bhutanese football player? No. No? Okay, all right. Next question for you, my dear. Who is a better cook at home, mom or dad? Mom. And what's your favorite dish by mom? Dal. Oh, lentils. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, question number six. What is your favorite color? Red. Okay. If I gave you Nutrim, 500 Nutrim, what would you do with it? And put it in my piggy bank. <laughs> all 500? Yes. Okay, all right. And what do you want to do with it? It's going to stay in the piggy bank. What do you want to do with it later? Mm, when I find a book that I like very much, I would buy using it. Wow, okay, all right. That's a really good um, thought. I like that. Question number eight. Who's your favorite actor? Pubachile. Oh, okay, yes, Pubachile. Question number nine. From a dog, a cat, a fish, and a bird, which one would you take in as your pet? A dog. A dog, okay. Last question for you, my dear. What is the name of our Gelse? Gelse Jimmy Nam Gelongtu. Okay. You have answered all the 10 questions all correctly, so you get 10 out of 10. But let's find out mom's score. What is your son's favorite song? Country Road, Taking Home. Country Road. What is his roll number in class? Five. La. Five. Who is your son's best friend? Sangye Doji. Sangye What is your son's favorite sport? My son likes to play football. La. Football. Who does your son think is a better cook? You or your husband? Me. La. Mom. What is his favorite color? Red. Red. If I gave your son 500 Nodrum, what would he do with it? So I think he would say, and put it in the piggy bank. Who is your son's favorite actor? I think he likes Ginger Doji. What? If I gave your son four choices as his pet, one, and he has to pick one as his pet, which one would he go for? A dog, a cat, a fish, or a bird? A duck? A duck. Do you think your son would know the name of our Gelsi? Yes. Gelsi Jimmy Nam Gelong. I have your mother's score with me. Before I give you the score, what do you think would be your mom's score? I don't know. You don't know? You don't even want to take a guess? No. No, okay, all right, lady, it's safe. Um, let's take a look at the questions your mom wasn't able to answer correctly. Tukka. Um, if your favorite actor wasn't Pupatile, who would it be? Tencho. Um, your mom said it was Tencho Doji, your favorite actor, but you went with Pupatile, okay? Um, which is why your mom doesn't get a point. But other than that, your mom was able to score, um, 9 out of 10. So that's a really good score. Are you happy? Okay. Oh, he's not easily pleased. Okay, look. Oh, 9 out of 10 is a great score. Are you happy with your score? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I think 9 out of 10, especially when I haven't given you any questions to go over, yes. um, is a great score. Although we always mention it on the show that scores don't really mean um, anything. I mean, it's just a game, silly game we play, right? Um, and just because you get 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 on the show does not mean you're the, you're the perfect parent. Okay. I think uh, parenting is such a on-the-job, um, learning on-the-job kind of uh, experience that you keep learning and doing okay. better as you um, 
go, but nine out of ten. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you. I uh, will now go to our uh, next segment, which is the commitment. Since he gets sick most of the time, mm -hmm. um, usually uh, twice a week we have to take him to the hospital and then uh, he, uh, he has to take uh, medicine, antibiotic. Okay. So I think um, from now on I will make sure that uh, <coughs> he doesn't drink cold drinks oh, okay. and he wears warm clothes. Like. Okay, all right. Um, your mom is worried about your health. Does he have a really weak immune system, though? He or gets. Uh, he has the severe bronchitis, love. Oh, okay. And All right. uh, uh, most of the time, uh, he has this breathing difficulties. I see. Okay. Uh, of which we have to take him to the hospital and then uh, give him this nebulizer. Mm. Every week. Uh, not every week. Uh, Sometimes once a month. Sick. Oh, whenever okay. he gets sick, yes. I see. Okay. So your mom is really worried about your health. So she has um, committed that she's going to be an observant, hands-on mother, okay? She's going to keep track of what you wear, and she's going to make sure you wear warm clothes because with your condition, you have to keep yourself warm, right? And right now it's winter time, it's really cold, so you have to be, your mom has decided that she's going to be a vigilant, vigilant mother, all right? Um, for you, your mom has suggested us three commitments. I'm going to ask you to pick one, okay? Just one. And you'll give it to me and I'll read out your commitment. Oh, okay. This one just goes along. Your mom says, don't drink cold and chilled juice. Do you like cold and chilled juice? I drank when I was young and I don't remember the taste. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, if he wants to drink something, if he wants to drink juice, how would you recommend he drink it? Maybe lukewarm bit? Um... Yeah, I add some warm water. Okay, all right. And then make it lukewarm. I see. Do you like, do you enjoy squash and fruit juices? Do you like those? Mm, I don't like squash juice, but I like fruit juice. Okay, all right. So, and that's really healthy. And if you want to drink it like your mom suggested, maybe mix it with some warm water mm. and make it warm and drink it. Because um, it's really, I mean, for a mother to see their child be sick, it's just too painful. And you have to understand that for yourself. You don't want to put your mother through that. And you also don't want to put yourself through the agony of being sick, right? So that is your commitment. Do you think you can promise that you will try and drink warm um, juice and drinks? Yes. Yes? Can you do that? Yes. Okay, all right. <coughs> That's a commitment. We'll now go to our next segment, which is with love. Dear Paldin, today, grabbing this opportunity, I'm writing this letter to tell you what you mean to me and what you had always meant to me. My son, ever since you were with me, I'm a proud mother. You are a great big brother to your younger brother and sister and a very wonderful son to me and your father. I enjoyed the surprises you gave me on my birthday, Mother's Day and Parents' Day this year. I felt so loved, cared, and it touched me, and I will never forget them. I never had worries about the three of you going hungry when your father and I were not at home because you cooked for yourself and your, for your brother and sister as well. Then the times when you coordinated to clean the house, distributing the job amongst yourselves, are the most wonderful quality I saw in you. You distributed the job so well that your brother and sister did not make any objections. I know that you will become a very good person when you grow up. Did you know that your siblings listen to you? They do what you do. You are their idol. Always set good examples to them and take care of them. However, there are also times when you get sick and make me so worried. Please take care of yourself and try never to get sick. When you get sick, I think that I'm not a good mother, that I can't take good care of you and I'm not capable of being a mother. 
Please don't drink cold and chilled drinks. I love you, Palden, and will always be loving you. Love you, Anna. Dear Mother, you have raised me from when I was young. You carried me in your womb for nine months and spent three years carrying me on your back. You wanted me to learn early, so you put me in daycare. You spent all your time taking care of me and my siblings. I was able to become a good student because you taught me. If I didn't have such good mother like you, I would have never been what I am today. You taught me how to cook. You taught me how to do chores and all these basic ways of living and good manner. When I couldn't do things well, you encouraged me to work hard and never give up on me. I can never thank you enough with love, family. <laughs> Did you write that letter yourself? Yes, yes. oh my gosh, come here. such maturity in your letter. Um, you were able to tell your mom, uh, give her a recap of how she looked after you. And you, it's a very grateful letter. I can tell you're very grateful for your parents. Okay, we have come to the last segment now, all right, which is the gifts. The first gift that I have for you is a very popular gift on Do You Know Your Child, and which is, uh, what is this? Mm, titan. Ah, titan. What's inside? Titan what? Watch. Watch, okay, all right. A lot of my guests come here just for the watch. Did you come here to get the watch too? I just wanted to be on TV. <laughs> You're popular now, okay, fine. Um, so that's your first gift, okay? The other thing is Coming Home, a book by Pema Yudin. She wrote this book. Um, uh, she's a Bhutanese girl. She wrote this book when um, she was just a young girl. So I want you to read this and get inspired. Because we want you not to only read in English, but also in Zonka. We have this book in Zonka called Junorgi Panze, okay? So read that. Little Pema and Mighty Nyages. Have you seen Dugi Nyage on BBS TV? Yes, yeah. So I guess this little girl, Pema, meets um, some Mighty Nyages, okay? Yes, um, the other favorite book of mine um, that we give on the show is His Majesty Jimmy Singer Won't You, The King Who Gave Everything. This is an autographed book yes, by the author. And finally, we have a couple of books from Ministry of Education. You can uh, definitely read this once and then pass it down to your younger sibling, okay? The final um, thing we have here is the very special, special letter your mom had written. Okay, we framed it mm -hmm. and we know it's very valuable to you. It's priceless. So I'm guessing this is your mom's first letter to you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So take good care of it. And on that, I want to thank you, Belden, and thank you also for taking out the time and um, coming to Do You Know Your Child and playing this fun game with us. Um, so thank you so much, Bhopavya. Kids mess up and they will do the most surprising of things. Children will cry and shout when they're forbidden to do anything that pleases them. As parents, we need to forgive them and love them anyway. Now there's a lot of information out there on how to raise a smart and successful child. But think about how to raise happy kids. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.pt. Thank you and bye bye.
Rangi misena la kachiberu. Herim kachizum china chamaturu. Tiseda chigo mitsanzara in. Tiseda chisuni tenu. Rangi lava chuse kolore gopi kanewa kelche. Di beule pise lebeka. Zonam ja chichi. Zamling yaka blesheti natars have joy me. Titan semi chuse kolosu. Du yaka nale nandin bedi ebi. This is the Gonse, Nilam Jibanga to the Gotuki, don't touch it in a single panabe yable, run a sauce on Babatindi, Jicho Chobe Yisuni Jiba Chambachin, Timbu Tomgi Bulu, Chusekulokas and Letandi, Dumda Chitomdi de Kojas of Hon Chambachin, Lamgita Lukalwang Dinchim Yotolo Yisuni. Why, I name a show, I name a show. Thank you.